This video shows the basic functions of the Cara Print Cam 2.0 software. The software guides you through the process, with many functions automated. In a second video we show you how you can also use the software individually. Under the Help tab, you can view your software version. You will also find a direct link to the Cara website in your selected language as well as the current application guide and a list of available shortcuts. Under the Settings tab, you can choose between two different background colors. Depending on the material, it may be useful to change this. Please confirm your change with OK. Under Options you can always find your license key. Here you can also change the language selection at any time. With the two lower sliders you can adjust the speed of your mouse movements. The upper slider is for zooming with the mouse wheel and the lower slider is for rotational movement. For an ideal overview in the complete workflow, the build platform can be shown or hidden at any time. Use the select file button to start a new case. Here you can select the corresponding file from your memory and load it for editing. After the files have been selected, assign the material with which the work is to be printed as well as the indication to the respective object. This selection will help the software to automatically orient and select the automatic supports. In the next step, orientation, position the objects to be printed so that they are all positioned without contact to each other in the area of the build platform. Several options can be used to orient the object. To do this, activate an object by clicking on it with the left mouse button. The object is active when it is displayed in blue. Once activated, circles of different colors and green arrows appear around the object. These circles and arrows can be used to move and rotate the object. The object can be moved using the display field in the upper left area, both by entering numbers and by moving the sliders or clicking the arrows. Both 90 degree increments and single degree changes can be made. Please make sure that no side wall is marked red, because then one or more objects are placed outside the print area. In the next step, the support step, before generating automatic supports, you can add a reinforcement bar for more stability during printing up to light curing. To do this, go with the mouse over the object and open the submenu by clicking with the right mouse button. Now activate the add reinforcement function with the left mouse button. Then use the left mouse button to select the two points where the reinforcement bar is to be placed. Proceed in the same way with any further reinforcements. Click the right mouse button again to activate the submenu and then generate the auto supports. If desired, you can also place a base plate under the object. Proceed in the same way with further objects. Once all objects are connected to the build platform, you can switch to the slicing step. You will automatically be prompted to save the project. To do this, give it a project name and select the location where you want to save it. Then the slicing process will start automatically. During the slicing process, you can follow the progress on the screen. Once the process is complete, you can transfer the sliced file to the printer. This can be done via USB stick or directly from the software via your network. To transfer from within the system, go to the print step. Here you will see the available printers on your network. 
In the drop-down menu, you will see all the printers connected in the network. Select the printer you want to use to print the project and start the transfer. After the transfer, the print job is available in the printer's library and can be started. In another video, we show you the individual use of the Kara Print Cam 2.0 software.